you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. Getting ready is the kicker, Andrew Franks, and we are underway from Miami. This will be fielded at the eight. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. on first down is Brady. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the Florida Seahawk, Byron Maxwell. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. And they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You got to let that happen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Jarvis Landry from 19 yards away. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. And Charles, the defender, was there. He just didn't get it. Sometimes these plays turn into basketball in a sense with two guys going up for the football. Which guy's going to box the other away from it and grab it? Yeah, I know you hear it a lot, but it's just the will to get it, right? Oh, without a doubt, the will as well as a really nice touch on the ball that was thrown. And some talent, too. So the flag is for roughing the kicker a big 15-yard penalty. And I'm not sure that was the time to go all out after the kicker. Plenty of time left in this game. Franks now on to kick it away after the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. They go back to the air here after the INT on the And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Jelani Jenkins in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team that had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They've got it third and ten here to start things out. Throwing his Brady on third down. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. On first and 10, here's Brady. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target. All right, different topic here. 2018, the Super Bowl traveling north, far north to Minneapolis. Early, early, early predictions for that one. Who you got? Well, you know, everyone's still waiting in the NFL for a home team to play in its yeah. own stadium, right? So could the Vikings be that team? I'll start in the NFC, and I'm going to say no. I think Seattle. Starting to get near that, maybe last run with their defense. Burrow Thomas returns. I like Seattle coming out of the NFC. How about you? Well, I'm actually going to take a Dallas Cowboys NFC title run. I think that they came so close this year, probably the most talented going into next year. I like that one. Well, in the AFC, I'm going to go with a team that if they improve their defense and their quarterback stays healthy, they could be that team, the Oakland Raiders. Okay, I'm going dark horse. Cleveland Browns. I like Let's it. go. Hey, from worst to first. first. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Shot here before the break. Tannehill going deep here for Stills. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down. Okay. Well, so much for the halftime report here. Can't, guy can't even finish his Snickers. We're going to get right to the third quarter. Let me spit this out. 
And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jarvis Landry, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense now to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. On the toss, this is Blunt. And some room to roam now. 20. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Red zone opportunity. Back now in Miami. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Brady now on first down. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And there's the touchdown that they needed. So they'll celebrate. But the guys on the sidelines, they've got to stay focused. The onside kick team, they need them to get the ball back. Yeah, part one of the equation done. Now they need to convert and then get that onside kick. Time definitely of the essence now. Just under a minute to play. And here we go. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. They'll look to throw. And right side caught Hogan. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And quickly, they get to the line. He's back to throw. This will be caught at the two. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Chris Hogan in the final minute. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, and you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen, ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And let's shift now to talking about the Patriots' defense. They're trying, Charles, just to simply preserve this tie at this point. I mean, well, they take a turnover, pick six, but they're trying to hold on to that tie. No doubt about it, and they have to stay on alert here. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. And this one through the uprights and good.
Franks now on to kick it away after the touchdown. Now, Deion Lewis to return. Oh, spinning away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. One possession game, time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. Chris Hogan, and he's going to find Hogan here, complete. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, and you just can't do that. 15 yards on the roughing the kicker call. Absolutely inexcusable. The kicker's in a defenseless position, and he just gets taken out. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So now here come the Dolphins. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, Right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. So second and 10 here. Tannehill now to throw. He's going to let it go again. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They've just likely won this thing in regulation. So they do get it across for the game-winning touchdown, barring, of course, something crazy happening on the kickoff. So if we took the crazy out of it, that's the way you close the game out. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. And this is secured by the Patriots. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of... And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, we 